Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. I am June Archer. This is the Winner's Circle. We are talking BMF Season 3, Miss McCall White and the amazing Layla Pruitt, who play the Flannery women in this family, and they are some strong sisters. I want to start with the young Nicole Flannery. Layla, how excited are you about this season? Your brothers are growing up. They're feeling themselves, and they're headed to Atlanta. Where mm -hmm. do you stand on this? Well, I mean, Nicole, my brothers are, are growing up, but Nicole is growing up too, you know? And so she's sort of seeing uh, her family and her brothers are are making ways for themselves and they're heading off. And so she says, well, why shouldn't I do the same? You know, why shouldn't I sort of figure out who I am? You know, Nicole's a teenager now. And so you'll see her make some decisions and stand on them. Um, you'll see a little bit of a rebellious, uh, rebellious spirits in Nicole this season. Um, and I think that, all of all of the growth that she has this season is is uh, very reminiscent of sort of a coming of age story. So I'm really excited for the fans to see that this season. And we are very excited. McCole, you know, struggles of a, a young family, young couple trying to find their way through love and all the ebbs and flows as your boys are getting older and your young your youngest is coming of age, as she just said. How mm -hmm. is it important or why is it important for us to see these stories of a family like this in that situation, try to figure it out on screen? Um, I mean, I, I think it's really important to see, you know, a black family on screen and, and a black family um, that has a lot of love. And I think, you know, Charles and Lucille's relationship has been um, amazing because their love for each other is really um, deep and real and powerful. And um, and it's important to see Black love on screen, um, but everything is not always coming up roses in any relationship. And, um, but still, no matter what, I think, I think that, um, in this family that that love always prevails no matter what that looks like it might not look like you know the traditional marriage or you know those things that 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 you might expect that they should look like but the love um exists all the time and family in every aspect of of the show um but Lucille does, you know, find her way uh, this season into uh, more of a self empowerment um, that she definitely deserves um, this season to take a deep look at herself and to see things differently and to give herself a, a chance, a new opportunity to go, OK, what 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 does life really look like for me or who am I really and what do I really need? Because um ultimately the person that's going to really take care of and love you best is you and it has to start from you and when it starts from you you kind of create the uh, the rest of the things that's around you you create what comes back to you when you take care of yourself first and she's learning that to recreate reframe life for herself to attract um uh healthier things in her life from everybody you know one of the things that i love and i know the fans love is lucille is very rooted in her faith and this is for both of you as layla's character is coming into her own and your character is trying to find that hey i need to find myself again how important is it for a mom and daughter to go through this journey together on mm. screen, but those who are watching from a distance mm -hmm. can learn something as well in these moments. How important is that this season as we see both of you transition and make your magic happen? I'll start with you first, Layla. Well, yeah, I think I think um, one of the best things about our relationship on screen is that it's very real. They don't shy away from showing the the great parts about it, but also the the not so greats, the misunderstandings, you know, the um, sassiness or the, you know, slaps or, what, uh, you know, what, what have you. I think that um, it's a very real, it's a very authentic and 
black mother daughter relationship um especially with the faith aspect um you know having having a mother who is you know very uh in tune with her faith but having a daughter who is hearing her mom and and hearing the values of it but seeing different things you know in life around her and trying to sort of figure out um how she is going to let her faith, you know, within herself show up in her life. I think that that sort of exploration for both of them and how to navigate that issue is, um, is life or art imitating life. And so I think mm -hmm. it's to be able to see that on the screen for all of the daughters and mothers out there who watch the show. Hmm. Oh, Good okay. answer, girl. Great, <laughs> great, great answer. <laughs> okay. McCole, for you, lastly, how do you feel about this for both women of color and, and for you to be able to show this relationship blossom? Um, our relationship? Yes. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I think in general, I just want to like kind of piggyback on the whole faith thing, which I think is is kind of important because it's like there's um, being uh, so there's spirituality and then there's uh, being religious kind of thing, which I think are two kind of separate things for, for me. And um, and to have faith and be spiritual still doesn't mean that you are not really true to what is. So still all these things come up in life um, and just because, and they may seem or appear to be quote unquote ungodly, um, we still have to be in our truth and live our way into the answers of um, our real life. And if you're not bringing the truth um, to uh, the table, it's like the, still the truth is what will set you free, no matter what that is or what that looks like for the boys, for us, for the divorce, for cheating, for what you, you name it. It still is the journey that you're on and you still have to kind of stand in your truth. Um, and I think that is still faith and just, you know, whatever that is, you bring that wholly and fully to the table because that's how you grow by exposing your your real truth. Um, so anyway, I just I want to address that. Um, I can't and, thank you enough. Miss McCole, Layla, thank you for walking in your truth, your passion, your purpose and giving us the best versions of yourself as women of color. I am looking forward to, and I'm sure I speak for everyone, season three BMF stars. You can't miss it. McCole White, Layla Pruitt, the Flinnery women doing their thing. This is your host, June Archer, The Winner's Circle. Thank you so much for tuning in. Peace. Thank you, June. Love you both. Have a great one.